Hello, my name is Sam Evans, and for my second Sports Medicine 3 project, I did strength and conditioning for mountain biking. The goal for this project was to is to increase endurance, speed, and strength for my client. I also want to increase comfort levels when doing harder rides and when racing. Who is my client? My client's name is Lachlan Bray. Lachlan is a South is a sophomore at South Tahoe High School. He actually came to me interested in the program because he's noticed that it's, he's finding it very hard to improve in mountain biking. Uh, he's a very experienced rider who is actually on the varsity club team for bi biking. And I plan on working with Lachlan at least four times a week. Muscles used in mountain biking. So first we have the lower body muscles, which are definitely the most important, including the quads, calf muscles, hamstrings, glutes, and then I included core just in lower body. After that, we have the upper body, which is still super important, but not as important as lower, including biceps, triceps, pectoral muscles, and forearms. As for the lower body, the quads push the pedal down towards push the pedals down towards the trail, while the calves and the hamstrings work together to pull the leg back up. The glutes help stable help keep the rider stable, and the core muscles, the, the glutes and the core work together to keep the rider stable. Next, we have the upper body. Uh, for the upper body, the biceps help stabilize the rider and help lift or pull the handlebars, while the triceps and pectoral muscles aid with stability. The forearms are responsible for braking, shifting, and gripping, which are crucial when riding a bike. Next, we have the baseline test. So for my baseline test, I had Lachlan do a short ride around 3.77 miles long. I then took his average speed, which was 13.2 miles per hour, his time, which was around 17.08 or 17 minutes and eight seconds, and then his max speed, which was around 29.1 miles per hour. After he was done with the ride, I asked him a few questions like how hard he was breathing, uh, 10 being the hardest. He said he would rate his breathing around a 7 out of 10. For pain slash burn, he rated a 7 out of 10. For sweat, 7 out of 10. And then I took his heart rate, which was around 158 beats per minute. And then after two minutes, it mellowed down to around 98 beats per minute. The program. For the start of the program, we have the warm up. The warm up consists of seven dynamic stretches with upper and lower body. Um, I, had, I had them do each stretch for around 30 seconds or 30 seconds each side. And the total time for the warm up was around five minutes. For this first stretch we had, or for the first warm up, I guess, I didn't have any squats. Then I had him do torso twists. After that, he did some swimmers. After swimmers, I had him do some scoops for his calves. After scoops, I had him do some quad stretches. Next, I had him do some side to side lunges. And then finally, he did some jumping jacks. As for the strength and conditioning portion, I made an interval training session, which basically just 30 seconds for each exercise and then 10 seconds off, trying to keep a fast moving pace. Um, after he's completed all six exercises, he takes a one minute break and then does this again two more times with a total of three sets. In the workout program, I put a lot of core, upper body, and lower body. And then he's going to get a cardio exercise and an endurance exercise from just doing it in such a fast pace. Uh, the total time for the intervals training session was around 15 minutes. We started the exercise with um, some bicycle crunches. After that, I had him do some push-ups to work on a little bit of upper body. After the push-ups, he did some squat jumps. After the squat jumps, um, I had him do a burpee with a tuck, which is also some cardio. After the burpee with a tuck, I had him do some one-legged squats with an assist with the back leg, so on a chair or we used a fence. But After that, I had him do some dive bomb push-ups, which are really good with core and arms. Um, during our during our two-week program, he was also doing some rides with the mountain bike team. 
including a really big ride here for around 24 miles. After 5.6 miles, he then did a 23.5 mile ride and a 15.9 mile ride. Really good for endurance. As for the before and after, here you can see our baseline test um, with the 3.77 miles with 13.2 uh, mile per hour average speed, 17 minutes and eight seconds is how long it took him, and then a max speed of 29.1 miles per hour. And then his heart rate being 158 beats per minute, and after two minutes being 98 beats per minute. As for his ending ride, uh, his average speed was 13.9 miles per hour. So he actually gained 0 0.7 miles per hour on that. Um, as for his time, 16, 16 minutes and seven seconds. So about a minute improvement, which is insane. Um, and then with the max speed of being 32.7 miles per hour, so he had a 33.6 mile per hour increase for the max. As for his heart rate, he had a 162 beats per minute. So a little bit more than the other one, but not by much. And then after two minutes, his heart rate went down by a lot, which just really shows improvement with um, cardio and endurance. And then for the average speed and the max speed and the times shows improvement in strength. Thank you for watching.